Welcome to Monday Night Raw, ladies and gentlemen. This is the post Money in the Bank Fallout episode of Raw is War. And what a Money in the Bank sniped. Tonight we're going to see some of those matchups again. Rematches. Rivalries forming. It's going to be a great Raw is War. Welcome to Raw is War. Right, for our opening match tonight, we've got Cesaro, the new Intercontinental Champion, coming out. He's got some words for us. We've got the new Tag Team Champions, Chris Jericho and Kevin Owens, versus the former Tag Team Champs who just lost it last night in a com match that was just completely out of control. They had a terrible night, and... Eric KO just rolled. So we're going to have them meeting up again tonight in an Extreme Rules match. Next so we have a backstage brawl featuring Mankind and Sheamus. Following that we've got a 2 on 2 tag team match. The New Day versus the Wyatt Family. New WWE World Heavyweight Champion Brock Lesnar comes out to address the crowd. Mr. Money in the Bank Seth Rollins meets up with Darren Young. Apollo Crews, fresh off his debut last night, comes out to speak to the Raw's War crowd. In our main event, we have a triple threat match with John Cena, Curtis Axel, and JBL. Go ahead and get started here. Cesaro's making his way to the ring. Let's see what he has to say. Cesaro, of course, in high spirits, I'm sure, after winning the Intercontinental Championship last night at Money in the Bank. Cesaro making his way to the ring. Brand new Intercontinental Championship. Wonder what he has to say tonight. I noticed that Miz wasn't on the card tonight. I wonder if he'll be making an appearance at all. He's just going home to lick his wounds. I guess we'll find out soon. You know, it thrills me to know that I am the best pure athlete in the WWE, but I would never have achieved such accolades without the support of you, the fans. Thank you. Now, there's something I need to address. Let's get down to business. Oh, what's that? The Miz? What's he doing out here? Former Intercontinental Champion Miz coming out, and he looks none too happy at all. Cesaro doesn't seem to care. Bring it on. Cesaro's always ready for a match. The Miz, however, not very happy after losing the Intercontinental Championship last night to Cesaro. Let's see what he has to say about that. Wait, wait, wait. Let me stop you right there. Now I know what you're wondering why I'm out here, and I promise I'll get to that. But first, I've got a question for you. Exactly what makes you think anyone cares about a single thing you have to say? The only thing these people are here for is to watch me. Well, if it isn't everyone's least favorite superstar, what? You didn't get enough likes on social media, so you're out here to plead your case? Cesaro with a little jab there to the news. I'm going to do you a huge favor. You're going to owe me big time because after I get through with you, you're going to be a worldwide trend on social media. Hey, how's this for a hashtag? Hashtag nobody likes you because you are so annoying. Let's see that trend. You know what I think? I think you're afraid. I think... All your talk is an attempt to distract people from it. It's a mask you wear because you don't want people to see the fear on your face, but I see it, I smell it, and you have every reason to be afraid because I am going to make your life a living hell. 
I don't know if you realize this, but it takes more than a big mouth to make it in the WWE. And while you may have the biggest mouth on the block, you don't have what it takes to go the distance. So why don't you go back, stage, and fuck off. I know the WWE Universe want to see me pound you into slop right here and now. Heck, there's a part of me that even wants to do it, but I don't fight just because they tell me to, and I certainly don't fight because you tell me to. This was some strong words there. Please, your vain attempts at angering me are both desperate and obvious. You will not be getting a match against me tonight. There's nothing you can say to change that, so deal with it. I hope these idiots in the audience tonight see you for the false idol that you are. You won't fight me, and that ain't no sign of a hero. From now on, I demand to be respected as the new hero, except one thing. I wouldn't save anyone in this arena. Peace out, losers. The Miz with a strong showing tonight on the microphone. Leaving our new Intercontinental Champion flabbergasted. Coming up next, we have the Extreme Rules match between our new tag team champions, Chris Jericho and Kevin Owens, collectively known as Jericho, and Enzo Amore and Big Cass. This is a Tornado Tag Team Extreme Rules match, coming right up here on Rise War. And coming to the ring, the new WWE Tag Team Champions, Jericho. Winning this match last night was a very, very big deal. Enzo and Cass, the former champions, just had a terrible, terrible night. Jericho ran rampant over them, just putting on a clinic for wrestling. Putting on a clinic for every night. You know, if, if there was ever a bleh, if there was ever a night where everything went right, that was the night for Jericho and Kevin Owens. Here comes the challengers. The crowd may be a little disappointed with their showing last night. I'm letting them know. Enzo Amore and Big Cass. right here this is big cash and he's seven foot tall and you can't teach that bada boom realest guys in a room how you do doing cast crowd crowd favorites normally but this crowd is not uh, showing them the love that they're used to Like I say, I think that they're uh, I think they're disappointed at Enzo and Cass with such a poor showing last night. And for our so-called opponents tonight, we have one word to describe them, and I'm gonna spell it out for you. A A D A T. Ooh, quite a bit of booze there. That was not. Uh... Not the response they were looking for. I wonder if the crowd's turning on them. And we begin. Oh, Chris Jericho. Overhand arm drag. Big cast going to see Kevin Owens outside. Oh, and a nice reversal by Chris Jericho. 
Couple of jabs from Enzo. Both members of Jericho on the ground. Fancy move there by Enzo Amore. Enzo and Cass seem to be firmly in control here tonight. And appear that they're going to have another night like last night. Fortunately, the damage is already done and the titles have been lost. Enzo goes for the pin. Oh, and Jericho's reversing it. Oh, and a backbreaker. Jericho going to the outside. What does he have there? A sledgehammer. What is Chris Jericho going to do with that sledgehammer? Oh, and it just bashes Enzo's face off the ring post. He's got that sledgehammer again. Luckily Enzo saw it coming. And Chris Jericho into that ring post. Now Enzo's got the sledgehammer. Crowd getting back behind Enzo and Cass. Oh, and a ladder coming out. Kevin Owens. Little teamwork there on Kevin Owens. There's Jericho against the barricade. He reverses it. Oh, and Enzo into the steps. He's down. He can cast to deal with Jericho and Kevin Owens on his own on their own on his own. Oh right, and Enzo gets the chair away from Chris Jericho. This match is going out of control. They're going to destroy the arena. Into the announce table, Kevin Owens. And Enzo reverses it. There's Kevin into the... And a chair to the face by Chris Jericho. Enzo is down. Oh, Enzo's getting Kevin Owens up on the table. What's he gonna do here? What is happening? What is he gonna do here? Enzo going to the top rope. Kevin Owens on the announce table. No way! Oh my god! Enzo Amari saying, come on, Kevin Owens, you got nothing on me. Chris Jericho, Chris Jericho now, throwing Enzo into the ring. Kevin Owens may be down. Enzo and Cass certainly getting their revenge on Jericho tonight. Enzo inadvertently takes out Big Cass with the chair. And again. And a backbreaker to Enzo. Big Cass is down. That was a fatal blow with that chair. Oh, and a running bulldog to Kevin Owens. 
Chris Jericho gets a hold of him, throws him into the steps. Enzo is down. Kevin Owens is down. Oh, the chair right into the back. Oh, and Enzo and Cass look to be getting their revenge, but they're both, they're both down. Oh, and a bulldog to Chris Jericho. How quickly the tide turns. And again, goes back to Jericho and KO. Momentum in their favor. Enzo's back to his feet. He's got a hold of Kevin Owens. And down he takes him. Oh, and a code breaker to the face. Of Enzo Amore. Enzo may be down. Chris Jericho going for the pin. Oh, and Enzo just gets it. Just kicks out. Gets that shoulder up. Kevin Owens looking for it. Enzo getting back to his feet. Enzo sees it. Catches Kevin Owens. Enzo saves his partner. Big gas. And an arm drag to Jericho. Oh, and Kevin Owens stops him. What a move by Kevin Owens. Enzo is down. Jericho going for the cover. And Enzo says no, he's out at the one. Owens with that kendo stick. Takes out. Big Enzo. And that's it. The tag team champs win again. Enzo and Big Cass had quite a showing, but the tag team champions were able to pull it out in the end. Look at that. Code breaker, that may, that may have well been the beginning of the end for Enzo and Big Cass. There we go, and there are our tag team champions, Kevin Owens and Chris Jericho. There they go. How far would this alliance go in the WWE? They're already at the top, they've got the belts. And it looks to be a long time that they'll be holding those belts. Enzo Amore and Big Cass maybe get in over their heads a little bit, challenging these guys. I'll have to see. Coming up next, more tag team action where we have the New Day. With the meeting up with the Wyatt family. That's coming up next. Here on Budacat Films and Die Rocky Die. DieRockyDie.com. And the New Day making their way to the ring. Xavier Woods, Big E Langston, and Kofi Kingston, the New Day. Currently the longest reigning tag team champions 
WWE history. But in our universe, they are not the champions. They're just a really great team. Tonight we'll be seeing Big E and Kofi Kingston in action. And look at that, we've got uh, Big E playing the trombone. And that's the new day for you folks. Big E does indeed have moves, as that sign said. Oh, and here we go. It's the Wyatt family. Look at the fireflies in the audience, ladies and gentlemen. That is fear. That is scary. All of those supporters of the Wyatt family. Every one of those lights. Another Wyatt family supporter. You may think the Wyatt family is just three men. But the Wyatt family is so much more than that, as evidenced by all of the fireflies in the audience. Ray Wyatt, the new face of fear in the WWE. All right, looks like it'll be Kofi Kingston starting off against Bray Wyatt here tonight. Let's get started here. Big E getting in on the action here tonight. Not content to sit on the sidelines. Yeah, <laughs> Big E giving them the moves they want. Kofi from the second rope. Never turn your back on Bray Wyatt, Kofi. That should be the first lesson you learn. Biggie getting impatient on the sidelines. Big E may be having some trouble understanding the rules. He doesn't understand why he can't get in there. Oh, grabbing at the referee is Big E. And here goes Kofi. There he goes.
Biggie finally gets in there. It's what he wanted. Kofi goes for the pin. Too little too soon. And another save by Big E. Big E needs to get his back out of the ring or else he's putting the team at risk. Big E wants in this so bad. Kofi Kingston from the top rope. little miscommunication here between Big E Langston and Kofi Kingston. Kofi, back outside. Big E the legal man. Kofi trying to lend a hand to his teammates. And again, but Kofi going down. And Kofi gets a little wild with the chair. Wasn't going to let this go down any further. A bad showing from the New Day today. Next, Brock Lesnar, the new WWE World Heavyweight Champion, addresses the WWE Universe. The first day of his reign of terror. And let's see what Brock Lesnar has to say. Oh, he is in a mood tonight. The new WWE champion. Nearly knocked that camera out of the cameraman's hands. I wonder if the WWE has allowed them to expensify their... when they shit their pants because Brock Lesnar's come by and it scared them so badly. Brock Lesnar, every time I come out to this ring, I want to throw up. I'm here to be the best and having to wrestle in front of you people every night makes me sick. I can stand I can't stand looking at any of you. I don't even know how you people stand yourselves. Brock Lesnar with some strong words. WWE Universe. And should have expected this. Stone Cold Steve Austin, the former champion, lost last night. Lost his belt to Brock Lesnar. White a Brutal matchup, Money in the Bank. Eve Austin not going to let Brock Lesnar talk for long before he comes out. Let's see what Stone Cold has to say. Before you go any further, you and me got something we need to clear up. Who in the blue hell do you think you are? Coming out here and interrupting me? You aren't worthy enough to be in my presence. You're a nobody. The lowest totem on the pole. The bottom of the pyramid. Hell... You're not even good enough to lick, lace up my boots. Brock Lesnar with some strong words for the former champion and Hall of Famer. Pressure's been getting to you lately. Pressure is a dangerous thing and not everyone can handle it. I've seen you make mistake after mistake. You're on a slippery slope, brother. Be very careful about your next steps because the wrong one, you might not like where you end up. Brock Lesnar, probably not afraid of that. I haven't been making mistakes. I've been getting screwed over by the authority, by other superstars. Everyone's out to get me. They're all jealous. I'm too good for this place, that's all. Just wait until you see me fully unleash and do things on my terms. Brock Lesnar. Don't go old. I think we've heard enough out of you. You can talk all you want, but that doesn't mean anything in the WWE. The way we settle things is inside the ring, one by one, one on one. You bring everything you've got. We'll see who the real champion is. Brock Lesnar, I'm not really sure if you really are aware of what you said in motion here. I was content to go on my way and let you wallow in your mediocrity. But you had to poke the hornet's nest, didn't you? Keep it up, and you'll get the thing. You'll get what you want. You really think you've got what it takes to go the distance with me? Well, you might have these people fooled. 
You might even have yourself fooled, but I know the truth. I'm going to prove it. You're going to get exactly what you're asking for. I'm going to make people know exactly who you are. Not for what you're done, but what for, um, for, for what I'm going to do to you. Wrong words there from the champ. I think the WWE Universe me agrees with me when I say that yellow streak running down your back just keeps getting brighter. I don't care what I have to do. You and I will be squaring off in this ring sooner or later. You just let me know when you'll be ready and I'll be waiting. Stone Cold. Strong words for the champ. But words only go so far here in the WWE. So far, the actions that Brock Lesnar has brought to the ring have spoken louder than Stone Cold's words. Coming up next, coming up next, we have Mr. Money in the Bank, the champ winner of last night's Money in the Bank championship opportunity, Seth Rollins versus Darren Young. Make Darren Young great again, Bob Backlund says. Seth Rollins may have something else to say about that. And here he comes, Mr. Money in the Bank, Seth Rollins. This will be the second time Seth Rollins has had the Money in the Bank Championship. The memorable cash-in at WrestleMania against Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar. Come into the ring, his opponent, Darren Young. Darren Young fired up and ready to get this match started. Oh, and Seth Rollins has got some aerial moves to start things off. He have hurt himself as much as he hurt Darren, Darren Young, though. Oh, and another kick to the face. Darren Young, not going down that easily. Oh, and Seth Rollins with the reversal. Oh, and some action there. And who, what is this? Apollo Crews. Apollo Crews making his debut last night at Money in the Bank. What is he doing out here? What exactly does Apollo Crews want, and, and whose side is he on? Oh, it's Darren Young runs right into the sidekick, right in the stomach. What is Apollo Crews doing in the ring? What is he doing? Attacking Seth Rollins, what is going on? Apollo Crews. Apollo Crews. What are your intentions here? Has this match just turned into a two-on-one handicap match? Apollo Crews to the aid of Darren Young. Seth Rollins on his own against two. Darren Young taking advantage of his newfound ally. Oh, Seth Rollins is down. Apollo Crews is making this. Turning the tide of this match. I don't think anybody going in would have expected Seth Rollins to be the one who coming out on the losing end of this match, but that's what we're seeing here tonight, folks. Darren Young's got a baseball bat. What is the match turned into? What is happening here? A baseball bat to the back of the head, and Seth Rollins is down. Seth Rollins is down. Paulo Cruz making the ball the difference in this match tonight. Oh, 
Seth Rollins is only one man. What is he supposed to do against these two? Best thing Seth could do is to get to his feet and get out of there. Baron Young going for the pin. This false count anywhere match. Where is the referee? Seth Rollins able to break the pin. Not able to get back to his feet at this juncture yet. Oh, and he's thrown over the barricade into the crowd. Seth Rollins, Apollo Crews, and Darren Young in the crowd battling it out now. Seth Rollins finally with some offense. Trying to turn the tide here. Darren Young, though, gets him by the back of the head. Two on one odds are still tough odds, even for Seth Rollins. Oh, and Rollins is down into the back area of the the security area of the area of the crowd. Oh, and Rollins is down with a chair to the head. Darren Young takes him down. Oh, and then a belly buster. Hollow Cruz with an elbow drop. What is Apollo Crews doing out here? Seth Rollins is down. He is beaten. Broken. Darren Young inadvertently hits Apollo Crews. Apollo backing off. Oh, and now Apollo and Darren Young are getting into it. Seth Rollins finally able to get to his feet. He's got a trash can. Oh, for Apollo Crews. Oh, and one to the head for Darren Young. Oh, and a European uppercut. Seth Rollins, his odds may be falling away from him being on his side. What are these two intentions? Darren Young going for the pin. Seth Rollins is beaten. Still gets the shoulder up. Why he would even want to get back up at this point, I have no idea. This one-on-one -on -one match has turned into a two-on-one handicap match, and it is not in Seth Rollins' favor, although we have also seen Darren Young and Apollo Crews exchange a few blows back and forth. Seth Rollins is to his feet. Oh, and the chair to the he is back down, and Darren Young with that chair just brutalizing, brutalizing Seth Rollins. And Seth Rollins is busted open, busted wide open. This is the match he signed up for, though. He knew what he was potentially getting into, but I don't think he expected to have Apollo Crews in the mix as well. And has punched square in the face. Oh, and Seth Rollins again. Outmatched, outnumbered. Another belly buster. And Darren Young goes for the pin again. Oh, and Seth Rollins just able to get up. Seth Rollins finally able to put a little bit of space between him, Darren Young, and Apollo Crews. But they're still hunting.
Seth Rollins just being eaten bloody here tonight. Into the steel steps. He's done all he could do tonight. This is not going to be his night. And he's thrown back into the crowd. Oh, and Seth Rollins able to reverse it. Oh, but Darren Young just has a little bit more juice tonight. Darren Young going for the final pin. I don't know if Seth can get back up. And he can't. That's it. Darren Young wins with some surprising assistance. A little bit of a hindrance by Apollo Crews. What a match this was. Ellie Buster. Chairs. Final body slam that just finally did it in for Seth. Darren Young is our winner. But still, what is Apollo Crews doing out here? What, did, what, what sort of thing is happening with these guys? What sort of alliance has happened there? Darren Young thanking Apollo Crews for his help. What sort of alliance do we have happening here? And Apollo Crews now with a microphone, hopefully with some explanation as to why he was doing what he was doing. After making such a strong debut last night. Why he would come here and an attack. Seth Rollins. I've come out here to speak my mind and people are going to listen because everyone here is happy to listen to me when I'm out here and smiling like everything's okay. But everything's not okay. WWE is not in the place it should be and I'm not taking it anymore. Paula Cruz is some strong words for a relative newcomer. I'm tired of sitting here listening to this superstar flap his giant gums about me while I say nothing about it. I'm tired of sitting back and letting him and all of you run me down week in and week out. All of that stops right now. Paula Cruz. Tired of seeing who? Since I was a kid, all I've lived for is a chance to be the best in the WWE. Now that I've achieved that goal, I've got something new to live for, and that's the chance to shut Seth Rollins' mouth with my fist. And tonight, it's going to be the the one. Let's see it. Seth Rollins coming out, answering this after a brutal match earlier on, coming back out to the ring. medical team trying to hold him back but he made it out here and hey, sorry to interrupt your little stump speech here but I've got something I need to get off my chest Seth Rollins answers oh hell no I didn't come out to this ring tonight just to be interrupted most definitely by not some meddlesome jackass like yourself so just stand there and wait your turn boy I'm going to say what I came out here to say and then I will let you speak and only then will I let you speak Quite the nerve of Apollo Crews being upset about somebody interrupting his time on the WWE, considering he just interrupted Seth Rollins' match. And cost Seth Rollins a win. You think anyone cares what you have to say? Much like your career, your words are completely pointless. You might as well just pack it all up and call it a life pal, because no one's interested in this yawn fest. You like testing me, I know you. Problem is, you know me too. You know what buttons to press, and maybe I fall for it a little too easily. Maybe I'm a bit crazy. But that's okay, you know why? Because now the WWE Universe gets to see what I like to, always like to seeing. A crazy ass whooping. I've been fighting for a long time, but it's time for me to finally make my mark on the WWE, and I'm going to do it using my you as my instrument. I want to beat you so badly that other superstars will fear getting in my way. I'm not sure if you're really aware of what you said in motion here. I was content to go on my way and let you wallow in your mediocrity, but you had to poke the hornet's nest, didn't you? Keep it up. You'll get what you're asking for. Oh, it's Seth Rollins responds. A low blow. A low blow to Apollo Crews. Seth Rollins. But Apollo Crews reverses him, slams Seth Rollins to the ground.
whatever Apollo was expecting to have, or Seth Rollins was expecting to have happen, may not be happening now. As these two go at it in the ring. Seth Rollins had been beaten bloody earlier in the night. Now having to fight again against Apollo Crews. What has set these two off against one another? I have no idea. This has turned into an all out brawl. Somebody needs to get out there and separate these two. Seth Rollins has been beaten bloody. Need to stop these. Finally, our main event tonight. Curtis Axel, John Cena, and JBL in a triple threat match. Here he comes, the face of the WWE Universe, John Cena. The crowd goes wild, or the crowd hates him. It's 50-50. John Cena sucks. John Cena sucks. John Cena sucks. And making his way to the ring, we have Curtis Axel, son of the elite Kurt Henning, grandson of Barry the Axe Henning. And finally, an answer extraordinaire, JBL. Getting back in action tonight in this triple threat vent. And here we go. John Cena and Curtis Axel starting it off. And a chair to the back of Curtis Axel, courtesy of JBL. Oh, and John Cena gets a hold of JBL. These two have a long history together. Oh, and a flip. John Cena. The match now with JBL. JBL reverses it. Oh, and a big fist to the head. And another clubbing fist to the head for John Cena. John getting some payback on JBL. JBL leaving the ring. Leaving poor Curtis Axel in there to deal with John Cena. The back and forth here with Curtis Axel and John Cena. Quite a bit of action, and Cena reverses it. JBL cannot do it in time. It's 
Cena's rolling out of the ring, perhaps to catch his breath. Oh. Big, big move by Curtis Axel. Going for the pin. Surely not enough for the former world champion. Cena with a chair now. Oh, and Curtis Axel busted wide open by John Cena. More chair shots to JBL. Cena goes for the pin. Is this enough? No. And what do we have here? The attitude adjustment. But as you can see, Curtis Axel's coming back in with a baseball bat. How is that going to play into things? Cena is down. With that baseball bat hit to the head, it's not surprising. Oh, and Cena responds with a clubbing blow of his own. John Cena is a machine. He's been beaten so badly here tonight. Still going. Barely breaking a sweat, reversing everybody's moves. He's just in this match tonight. He rolls out of the ring. Is that going to be enough? No. JBL is able to kick out. Oh, John Cena hit right in the cross of the jaw with that baseball bat. Giving JBL a chance to kick Curtis Axel out of the ring. John Cena, though, with the Impossible to pin. And Cena's able to reverse it. And a big clothesline for JBL. Oh, and a chair to the midsection. Oh, and a welcome back to the ring gift for Curtis Axel John Cena working over JBL with that chair oh and John Cena working on Curtis Axel again What's he gonna do with that chair? Oh, John, no, he's already been. Curtis Axel has taken a lot of abuse tonight and here is the five knuckle shuffle. Oh, right to that bloody and battered face. Chair to the midsection for JBL. JBL is down. JBL now broken open. That DDT really did a number to him. Oh, 
and John Cena just throws him right into the chair that he propped up in the corner of the ring. Curtis Axel out of the ring, and JBL able to kick out of it. Can you believe that? Curtis Axel coming back to the ring. John Cena's ready for him. Curtis Axel, a bloody mess. Curtis Axel is back outside of the ring. And the AA, is that going to be enough to do it? John Cena, one, two. No, JBL kicks out again. John Cena is just, cannot put him away, but now he's got that baseball bat out. Just clubbing JBL. JBL wrestles him to the ground. Says you can't get to me that easily. What does Curtis Axel have in his hand there? Sledgehammer. Curtis going for the pin, but he is way too late on that. That's not going to work out. Oh, and John Cena pushes him out of the way. Curtis Axel gets him in the DDT. Going for another pin attempt, but John Cena wisely breaks him using the ropes. JBL back in the ring. John Cena's down. Maybe they've learned they need to team up to take down the face that runs the place. Curtis Axel putting JBL up on the top rope. What's going to happen here? And a big slam. John Cena back in the ring. Finishing blows to JBL. Curtis Axel back outside the ring again. John Cena going for the pin. One, two. JBL still not finished. John Cena with an answer to Curtis Axel as well. JBL right to blow it right to the head. He is out of the ring. Both men being hit at the same time with that baseball bat. John Cena wins. And brutal triple threat match. That really took everything out of him that he could use. He threw everything at these guys that he could. Finally getting the pin off of Curtis Axel. John Cena using his chair to his advantage. There's John Cena, the franchise. That's going to do it tonight for Raw's War.
John Cena, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in to Raw's War tonight. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. This has been a production of Budokat Films. By Rocky Die. WWE Universe 2K17. Die Rocky Die. Die.